First of all, 13 assists last game, 10 in the first quarter yep. today. Let's talk about, you know, you started off with a 12-0 run. Uh-huh. You know, go the goal tried to get they tried to get back in a little yeah. bit, but the guys stayed they stayed disciplined today. Yep. Let's talk about overall just how well you were impressed today with just how they how No, they I was very playing. impressed with the the effort uh, that was put forth today. Uh, I thought they carried over the message from the pregame and just kind of the conversation for the last couple of days since our last one, which was just uh, sharing the game and playing together on both sides of the floor. And um, I thought from the from the beginning, uh, they came out and did that. I thought there was a more of a, a level of urgency to start the game, right? I thought we uh, were more physical and they felt us on both ends of the floor. And, you know, getting the ball popping and moving the way we did in that first quarter uh, with 10 assists and allowing everybody to you know, touch it and be involved. Um, I think carried over throughout the rest of the game with everybody having a pretty good rhythm. Well, six six players scored double figures. You gotta be, gotta be. Absolutely, you know, I think that, I think that's I think that says a lot. I think that really does say a lot. It's a, a well balanced attack. Finished with twenty two assists. First quarter we had ten of them. Obviously, that's twelve over the last three. Uh, Would have been cool to see a, a twenty eight to thirty assist type of number, but um, I thought you know for the most part. We were playing the game the right way. Talk a little bit about the guard depth. You know, uh, OC3, first time I've seen them this season at home. Mm -hmm. You know, Devontae, you know, you, you, can, you, can, you go different ways when coming off the bench for guys yeah. behind Sharif. So just talk about, you know, how you go about with, you know, in so many ways selecting who plays. Yeah, I think, you, you know, we have, um, you know, at that backup guard position, we have a couple of people that can, can handle and get the ball off the floor. But I thought, um, you know, it would be it would be good to insert him back in the in that second unit and allow him to kind of orchestrate us and get us involved, uh, get us in our spots, uh, and then it allowed you know Rob to play more of his natural position, which was um, off the ball and coming off the screens and being kind of a secondary uh, option for him. So um, I thought he did a really good job. He came in, knocked down a couple shots, and uh, kept the ball moving for us and competed on the defense end. Coach, today part of your big win, you had 46 percent from three. You had a great ball movement that allowed you to get. Multiple great open shots from behind the arc. I mean, what do you think the big difference between that and last game? Yeah, I think you know when we went into the paint um, tonight, we, we were we were we were on balance and we were patient and we were making the right decisions. Right, the layups were there, we were taking them, but uh, we wanted to create a lot of our threes tonight off of paint touches and, and ball movement uh, versus kind of the the one on one ISO three. So I just thought our our shot selection overall um, probably led to us shooting a higher percentage. Uh, we didn't shoot as many as maybe we usually do, but uh, I thought the ones that we created were more from assisted and, and, and ones from our teammates. Looking ahead, Coach, how do you how do you carry this two this two game two yeah. game winning streak over to obviously Friday with the Sky Force? Did it really go your way? Yeah, when you were in sets Sioux Falls. Yeah, now they come here. So how does it how how does how do you? How yeah, does it I mean it's it's going to be uh, it's going to be a tough game, and I uh, I applauded the guys because. They did the job, and we protected our home floor so far this season, being four and zero. And um, that's our goal when we enter the season is always to take care uh, of home. And so uh, it's going to be a great challenge against Sioux Falls. They have uh, they just had a, a huge win against Motor City, and I want to say put up close to one hundred sixty points. So uh, you know that's, it's a really good ball club coming in here. We played them once already, so we're familiar with them a little bit. Uh, but the, the most encouraging thing going into that game is that you know we found our rhythm, and I think the guys saw and felt what it feels like when that ball has energy and is moving, and they saw the shots that it creates for one another. And again, you see the balance attack on that points column. So uh, we'll, we'll, we'll ride that into our next game and continue to try to build on that. Uh, one last question. This may be a little far fetched. Will Imani play in that game uh, on Friday? You know what? I'm not sure on that. Um, we'll, uh, we'll find out more as far as his schedule goes. Okay. Uh, in the next couple of days. Okay. Yep. All right. Thank you. Pete, man, outside shooting, I see more and more you get confident from game one to now. Let's just talk about the trust that, you know, Coach Mike has in you to be able to just basically pull that free will from right now. Yeah, um, just, you know, obviously just he definitely instills a lot of confidence in us um, to take our shots um, and just, just trying to take the right ones. You know, for me, I think, um, you know, I'm not – somebody that's going to shoot off the dribble or anything like that but just trying to take you know the ones that are open and um, when they come to me and when they come to me in the flow of the offense and stuff like that so um, but he's definitely been instilling a lot of confidence in me um, just telling me to keep shooting um, and it's you know it's it's uh, if 
finally starting to get a couple to drop, so it's been good. The duo of you and Isaiah, man, I think that's one of the most underrated uh, young duos in, in, in the league right now. Let's talk about the, you know, what you guys are seeing on the floor. I see sometimes, you know, you're, you're playing up, up high a little bit more and he's playing down low. Then you guys switch, you know, you'll be playing down low and Isaiah will be playing up top. Just talk about, you know, what you guys are seeing out there to, to be able to, you know, Inter interchange of roles. Yeah, I think um, both of us being like versatile big men, um, I think that's kind of what's nice about it um, is we're starting to get our chemistry a lot better um, just as far as knowing, you know, when he's in the post, I might be out or switching, you know, when if our on defense, if our men come together, we can just switch um, stuff like that where, you know, we're both we're both big, we're both versatile, both can move. Um, so I think it makes it a lot easier when we both can play both positions. Um, it doesn't really matter where either one of us at. We're just just reading each other, and that's only going to continue to get better and better. I gotta ask you a question, man. Uh, what, what are your thoughts on the when uh, what's his face, uh, uh, Imani and uh, Zaire ran into each other on the alley oop, man? Oh, Towards I thought it was funny. I, I mean, I don't know. I'm I'm glad that we are being aggressive, both going after it. Um, you know, both those guys really like to like to dunk a lot. So, um, you know, just gotta. There, but it was good that we were all running the floor. Um, just got to communicate it a little bit better. So, Skeet, your dad was in attendance today. He's a two times NBA dunk contest winner. You had that huge alley oop. I mean, how'd that feel being able to do that in front of him? Yeah, it was good. It was good. Um, you know, it was, it was good just in the flow of the offense. Um, Mike G drew up a great play and, you know, got the got the good finish. So, it was great. Um, and, it's, and it's awesome to have my dad here support me. Um, so, it's, it was awesome.